Welcome guys to another video here with Max and today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful checkerboard biscuits. Look how beautiful they are, they are simply amazing. In order to make the vanilla dough we need salt, cold lightly beaten egg, vanilla paste, cold butter, icing sugar and flour. And for the cocoa dough we need salt, cold lightly beaten eggs, cold butter, cocoa powder, icing sugar and flour. Here we go guys, so I like to start from the egg. I wanna use, like I said, cold eggs uh, and this is gonna help me a lot uh, while making the, the dough. We are going to add the vanilla paste into the eggs I want to start to make the vanilla dough by rubbing the powdered sugar and the butter together. Very cold butter. In this case, in my kitchen, there are 22 degrees Celsius, more or less. So I want to pay attention on the temperature of the butter because I don't want to let it melt in my hands. Using your fingers, work them together until it resembles fine breadcrumb. If you are keep watching the video, don't forget to subscribe and like it. So guys, because my butter was getting way too warm, I placed the bowl in the freezer for about 10-15 minutes and I took it back. The butter and the sugar are well rubbed in and we can move on adding a pinch of salt. At this stage we can pour in our egg in two different times. And now time for the flour. In this case I'm gonna use a hand scraper and it's gonna be much much easier to clean the table and I love it. With the heel of your hand smooth it out against the work surface. And this will result in a very smooth and homogeneous dough. We roll out the dough and we are gonna place it in the fridge to cool for at least 20-25 minutes. We wanna let the butter to set. What we need is icy sugar and butter. We move on with a pinch of salt and now time for eggs. The next one is going to be the flour and I'm gonna mix the cocoa powder in the flour and start to pour in. With a hand scraper I'm gonna put everything together.
perfect time for the egg wash. Basically guys, we are going to use three different ingredients, which are full fat milk, whole eggs and egg yolk. We need 25 grams of each. Now, how we are gonna use 25 grams of whole eggs? We are gonna simply lightly beat. In this case, the egg white and the egg yolk are well mixed and we can use 25 grams. Perfect guys, we are back with our doughs. What I did, I left the doughs outside for about five minutes because they were a bit too cold. Could happen uh, that as soon as you roll out them, they are gonna crack. We roll out the dough into 20 centimeters times 10 centimeters. What we wanna do now is simply cut five strips, which have to be one centimeter wide. I'm gonna just rim off uh, the side because I don't like the shape, so now I'm gonna have a nice edge, and this is what you want. And now we move on with the cocoa dough. is ready to cut, but not five strips. We are gonna cut instead four. Same, wide, one centimeter. All the strips are ready. What we are going to do with the chocolate dough, we are gonna reuse it later. So please don't break it or make other kind of biscuits. Keep it on a tray or on the table. And as soon as we need, I'm gonna show you what we are gonna do. We start taking one chocolate strip and two vanilla strip. This is the position of our first three strips uh, in order to build our biscuits. What we do, we simply dip the brush in the egg wash and we brush the side of the vanilla.
are gonna put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Nice and frozen, this is what we want. What we do now, we put this one on the side, we take the egg wash with the brush and we brush all the surface of our chocolate dough. And here we will see the final result before place them in the oven. This is the best moment guys because we are going to see for the first time how the result looks like. Check, look at these guys. They are beautiful. They are literally beautiful. In this case, I'm using a tray with a silicone mat, but if you have parchment paper, it's gonna be perfectly fine. This is because I like the way you can wash and reuse so many times. And my beautiful friend, among them, they have to have the same distance. So they are gonna bake evenly. Guys, look at this, look at this. This is just art. I don't know what to say. Um, you know, when you, you spend your time trying to do something, uh, you wanna see all the time a nice and beautiful result. This is for everything. This is for literally everything. At this stage, because the oven is not hot yet, place them in the fridge, better if they are in the freezer, till the oven get warm. The oven needs to be at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit, but in case you are using a fan oven, I suggest you to set the temperature at 180 degrees Celsius for about 10-12 minutes, but make sure that the vanilla pastry doesn't color too much. A few moments later. So guys, I'm really happy to share this moment with you. This is my first video on YouTube. My goal is just to give the best, to bring the best to you guys. Uh, I'm really young, but my goal is to grow like a pastry chef and make everybody happy. So now let's give a bite. And deep, this is the rule. Mm. They are simply amazing that just melt in your mouth. With a cup of coffee, I don't wanna ask more. Enjoy and see you in the next video, guys.